hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are driving on the southern coastal highway and we're taking a look at the section from the yalas bridge to the harbour view bridge now this section is to be finished in august of 2023 so we are going over the yalas sorry august 2024 eight weeks from now we just went over the yalas bridge and we're heading towards albion now this section of the highway from the Yalos Bridge to Albion is going to be two lanes but from Albion back to the Harbourview Bridge it's going to be four lanes. Now I'm not sure why they didn't just make the highway four lanes all the way to the Yalos Bridge from Harbourview. Okay but if anybody knows you can leave a comment in the section below but if you notice there's so much space. So it's not a case where they would have to move more structures or acquire more land. This, this road is very wide. I mean, basically there is space on either side of the road where you could put four lanes. But that's how it is. From Har the Harbourview Bridge to Albion, it's four lanes. And then from Albion to Port Antonio, it's two lanes. You will have turning lanes along the roadway but that is the general alignment now from yalos to harborview is 17.4 kilometers it's going to take you about 20 minutes to get from harborview to yalos 20 to 25 minutes when the road is finished and that is definitely a game changer one of the reasons why people visited this side of the island the least was because of the roads one the winding roads and two the condition of the roads but all that is going to change now as they are getting one of the nicest roads in jamaica okay somewhere up here now the road is going to go back to the dual carriageway the four lanes Okay, so the entire stretch of the highway from Harborview to Port Antonio is 120 kilometers. But they're doing it in sections because that is a massive project. Just imagine from Maypen to Mandeville on the highway 2000 is 28 kilometers. So can you imagine 120 kilometers? This project is definitely a game changer for this side of the island. Now, we are not a political channel, but you have to give the government credit, whichever one started this project and whichever one built it out. Because these projects, you just don't wake up and start building a road. It takes years to plan them out. For instance, Highway 2000 between Harborview, sorry, between Kingston and Montego Bay, start, the planning started for it in the 1990s and it's 2023 and the highway has only reached from Kingston to Mandeville. It has to go from Mandeville to St. Elizabeth, then from Hodges in St. Elizabeth to Mount Pelly and then from Mount Pelly into Montego Bay. So that road definitely has a couple of years left before it's complete or that project okay so now we are at the section that is the dual carriageway and you can see this is a very nice road two lanes on either side of the jersey barrier and this is why we say this road is a game changer for this side of the island very nice road the only other road that's like this is highway 2000 but that's a toll road this road is not a toll road. You don't have to pay to use this road. It is funded by the Jamaican government. They are paying to build this road. Now, market, they might have called loans, etc., but it's not a toll road. You don't have to pay to use it. And this is really a uh, um, spectacular road, I must say. And if I don't know if you guys can remember what was here before, this is why we say it is a game changer. And China Harbor Engineering Company is the contractor. They are the main contractor for the entire stretch of the highway. 
and the entire project is actually 132 kilometers. You have 120 from the Harbor View to Port, Anton to Port Antonio, but you also have another road that's been built from Cedar Valley to Marant Bay. And we are going to give you updates on the entire 132 kilometers. At least once a month, we are going to drive on the entire stretch of the road so that you can see what's going on. But this section, we will give you updates. And when we say this section, we mean a section from Yalos to Harbor View. We will give you updates every week between now and the end of August so that everybody can be on the same page. Now, this section of the road is practically finished. You can see the layout, it's asphalted. It's just to put in the white lines and open the other side. So it will be two lanes in this direction, two lanes in the other direction. But this section will definitely be finished by August of this year. However, you have some other sections and we're going to put up the video after this one that you're not 100% sure that those sections will be finished by August. But we're going to monitor it and keep you guys updated. And that's a section when you get closer to going from Bull Bay to Harbor View. Where we are now is from Yalos. We went through Albion and we are now in the Grand Spen area. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the tour. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Have a good day.